Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our sword series in making a movie poster, we are going to continue adding elements to our sword, and this time we're adding blood. So, there are several different ways to apply blood, which includes masking other blood elements from other pictures, using customized Photoshop brushes, or painting. In this tutorial, I'm going to show the painting method because it is the simplest and you have the most control. So Mr. Kazama has asked that the blood be painted brown and look old, so pick a foreground color that is reminiscent of blood. For me, it's 4C 2727. So, zoom in a little bit on the area we want, and we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call it Sword Blood. Grab our brush tool and just start filling in the sword. And feel free to overlap. Try and make it stylized and cool. Try and think about where the blood's coming from, how he would slice someone with this, how he would stab someone with this. That's pretty good. I like that well enough. Of course, it doesn't look good at all to you, but I'm gonna show you how to make it better. So grab the smudge tool and just start smudging it up. Use up and down strokes to create different effects. And that looks pretty good. Now, we're gonna take the sharpen tool and we're gonna go over the area. And this will help add age to it. See how it's getting kind of crusty? Don't do it too much because then it'll just look really weird. That's pretty good. It's looking old, it's looking crusty, but we're not quite through yet. Take this layer, change the opacity to 50%. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, 75%. Even 85%. So it has a little bit of opacity in age, but that's fine too. And go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Just play around with this a little bit. And that continues to add to, to the nastiness. And that's pretty good. Now we want to get rid of those extra elements without having to do any extra work. And it's very simple. It's a technique I've shown you many times before. Just command or control and click on your sword layer. Make sure your sword blood layer is selected and press add layer mask. And there you go. So this is just a quick technique and there are lots and lots of other techniques. I think I will do some extra videos later on on different types of blood techniques you can do, but this is just one that you can apply and it looks pretty good. It looks old, it looks messed up. Um, try multiple different things, try multiple different techniques on how you apply the blood, etc. and have fun.